On this special episode of Jersey Chef, Battle of the Pants. Today we're going to do a little different episode of Jersey Chef. Today we're going to be in a chef battle, Top Chef Vermont, where I'm going to be crowned the kosher king very soon. So there's no special ingredient, I'm going to bring the same love to you. So if you guys are ready, and these are our opponents. <laughs> chef Max Sugarman and Chef Michael Goldberg. Also, Chef Barry Megan and the Man of Chef's culture champion, Stuart Davis. My partner and I, Chef Gabby, are fighting for the culture championship of the world famous Camp Ramon. So they gave us a mystery basket theme. We have to recreate the camp classic, Rocky Mountain Toast, and make it elegant. Now, Rocky Mountain Toast simply is a slice of bread with an egg fried right in the middle of it. So we're going to take this simple idea, add lots of flavor and love to it, and take it to a whole new level. How's it going? It's going wonderful. How's it going, Gabby? It's going great, thank you. Any symmetry into the pepper pots? Well, we're working on it. We're getting everything ready to go, and it's going to be amazing. So we decided to make a panzanella-style salad, which is a dry bread salad tossed with anchovies and garlic and capers and olive oil, some fresh cherry vinegar, and then we're going to poach an egg and drop it right in the middle of it. Top it with some fresh herbs, a little shade Parmesan, then I can be ready what comes out. Capers, anchovy, um, Dijon mustard, a little bit of balsamic vinegar, and we're going to make a little dressing for our um, panzanella salad. So now Gabby and I are prepping up our ingredients. She's dicing up some fresh bell peppers, and I'm getting ready that beautiful dressing to toss with our panzanella salad which we took fresh baked hollow bread, cut it up into cubes, toasted it in a pan with some olive oil, that's gonna be ready for our salad. Now we're mixing our farm fresh vegetables and beautiful vinaigrette to toss with our toasted hollow bread. We're poaching our farm fresh kosher eggs. The richness from the eggs is gonna balance out the acidity from the vinaigrette. Now it's time to plate up. We spread our panzanella salad in a circle on the plate and then placed our poached egg right in the middle of it. One minute to go, and we're just adding the final touches. Don't they know that love takes time? Then we're gonna to top it with a little more extra virgin olive oil, some fresh herbs, and voila, all finished. Now let's see what the judges think. Chef Tim and Chef Gabby. We made a panzanella salad, tossed it with some good herbs, um, and then we just poached the egg in the middle of it. So we still made the hole like the Rocky Mountain Toast is, um, we just poached the egg and put it in the middle of it. Deconstructed Israeli salad Rocky Mountain Toast. I know they lost me in deconstructed. They're ready. Okay, judges, we're going to ask that you take another moment. We're going to leave you to make your judgment on the first dish. So we did it. Victory round one. But round two's coming up and they held no punches back with this crazy mystery basket. Can we do it? Of course we can. Well, you know you're ahead of the game here with one win in your belt trying to keep your going. So this round two mystery basket consisted of fresh salmon, chickpeas, tangerines, and marshmallow fluff. Watch what we do with this. So Chef Gabby and I decided to do a pan seared salmon with a marshmallow fluff for blanc. A warm buttery hummus and an arugula salad with marshmallow tangerine vinaigrette. Now that's flavors turned up. Jersey chef style. Ten minutes into the competition, they announce a surprise ingredient. We have a surprise for them! Beasley. I have no clue what that is. Thank God Chef Gabby knows what it is. She explains it's an Israeli snack food that's like a crispy pretzel, but full of smoky flavor. So we're gonna take it, crunch it up, add some fresh herbs, lemon zest, and make it into a crust for our salmon. Then we need to set up our plate so it's possible. The marshmallow fluff is also an ingredient. Chef Jim, have you ever worked with marshmallow fluff? I do. I just love marshmallow fluff. Yeah, I got a little marshmallow fluff still. Look at that. That actually looks like edible. I hope so. Not just edible, but delicious. Who would have thought marshmallow fluff and salmon can be so delicious? Wow, those flavors taste incredible.
Now we're just finishing up our plate, ready to cruise and dance to victory. That's how we do it here on Jersey Show. We got the salmon, we got the demon, we got the chicken, we got the bottle of milk, we got a little bit of Let's do a little victory dance. A little bit. Great job, Chef Gabby. I think we took the title. I would like some reaction, please. Speak your mind. <laughs> Was that a comment or guess? <laughs> So we try using marshmallow fluff just adds a sweetener instead of thinking about marshmallow fluff. Um, balance that with some fresh herb, a little bit of spice, yeah. um, some of the acid from the wine. Fish is very good. Huh? Fish is very good. Ah, uh, we have a very good. All right, we gotta leave room. <laughs> Thank you for the matzo preview. We have a verdict. At Bach and Elma, everybody's a winner. If we're actually going to speak in truth in a more accurate way, uh, and Gabby are the winners. The winner of our so challenge and the tickets. Do we have my an Jersey answer? Chef, Chef of the Day, working with me. Thank you guys so much. See you next time. The final night. True victory was held by these amazing chefs right here. Our first ever top chef of So, America, we did it. Gabby and I are the kosher king and queen, and we took the title. Do you smell it? That's the smell of a battle coming to a kitchen near you. So, be ready.